All right, I want to show how to make a generator out of an old ceiling fan assembly. So here's the ceiling fan, like this is where the blades would be bolted on. This part is normally fixed, and then this rotates. I have a sprocket that's actually on this, so it can be driven by a, by a chain if needed. But I'll show you what this looks like when I take it apart. So here inside you have the stator. This gets power from the house. The magnetic field created rotates this piece called the rotor and this is what's bolted to the outside case and rotates the fan blades. In order to turn an AC motor into a generator you need to create a magnetic field so for that we're going to be using magnets. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the magnets and attach them to this outer ring and I'll put one at even intervals all the way around in between the coils but rotating the poles so I'll take a stack of two put them on there take the next stack of two flip them the opposite direction and then put them in on the next coil Should look something like that when it's done. Now if you watch before this would spin freely, now it actually pulls that stator with it. So I can still spin it, but you'll see it catch and stop. So that's how strong that magnetic field is inside there. So now what this is going to do, this is actually going to create AC power when I spin this. Alright, so here's the unit. Neomagnets evenly spaced, opposite poles, north south, north south. Put the top back on. Now oh, let's give it a spin, a light spin. You see, you saw 10 volts with the light spin. So that was 27 volts. It's probably seeing a lot higher temporarily. It says overload and then it finally settles around 27, 28, 28 and a half, 35. So you can see it doesn't really take much. Just with a few magnets, a little bit of a spin. So this would work uh, pretty well as a little wind generator if you had it hooked up right. Hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and ring the bell so you can see the latest videos.